I'm Jerry Ranger, I'm the CTO of Tex Energy PTE Limited, and today we're really excited to show you the assembly of the new Infinite Air T5 wind turbine, which has been designed for personal use for adventures, expeditions, anywhere in the world. And it's a great way of charging all your digital electronic devices when you're off grid. So the first thing you have to do is take the main turbine housing and connect the tripod base plate. The tripod base plate has two sides, has a flat side and one with a knurled insert. We need to take that and thread the cable through it and then simply screw it onto the, the main turbine housing <coughs> and screw it all the way up to the top. And then you'll notice there are three holes in it. Those three holes have been drilled with a specific angle so that the first stage tripod poles, which have the cables on it, slot into that simply at a pre-designed angle. We then take the second stage tripod and we place those in. Now, it's very important the next bit is done and because it, it secures the whole of the tripod together. And what that is, is this orange cable, which is clam key cable. We simply thread this through the brackets on the tripod. And then we have to make sure that it's actually really nice and tight, because what that does is it, it pulls the tripod in And now that is really sort of nice and secure. But before we can put it in the ground, we've got three ground spikes. So we slot those into the base of each pole. And then secure it by tightening up the screws. Now we are ready to actually put it into the ground. So simply take it push the spikes into the ground. Now here, obviously we've got, you know, quite soft grass, but if you're in a location where it, there isn't any grass, you can just put rocks around it. You can put snow, sand, and build a mound around it. But before we put the turbine blades on and the tail fin, we actually have to peg it down because this secures the whole assembly. So it's not going to fall over or get blown away. So by simply putting those into the ground, this will make sure that the whole structure is really secured. A bit like uh, on your tent. So once that's in, we can now actually attach the tail fin. Now tail fin, you can see it has a, a rounded top and a flat bottom. It must be important that you put this in the right way, not that way up. You have to put it in this way. You slot it in and you line up the holes with the main unit and then you literally put the locking pin into the unit and that secures the main housing. The next thing is to take the turbine cap and we take the three blades and we slot them in. Now you'll notice that the blade has a soft uh, silicon leading edge and the idea of that is as it's spinning around, if you are accidentally to engage with it, it will give you a little bit of a, a, a slap, but it won't break the skin. So you slot those in. Now you can't put these in the wrong way around because they've got a lug on one side and that matches the lug in the cap. So you can't accidentally put them in the wrong way. Slot those in and then put that onto the housing and twist it in a clockwise direction and then make sure it's really nice and secure and it will start spinning. The unit will start spinning at about five miles an hour and start charging at eight miles an hour all the way up to about 40 miles an hour. In kilometers an hour, that's 12 to 60 kilometer an hour. And on the Beaufort scale, that's a force three, which is a gentle breeze, all the way up to a force eight, which is, you know, very strong winds. 
Now what we want to do is actually connect the unit to a power bank. Now I'm using the Gold Zero Adventure 35 here which is um, just under 10,000 milliamp hour battery and we literally connect the cable to the, the power output and then what you'll notice is that once it's actually connected all the blue lights start flashing which shows that it's charging. Now in low winds like today it'll take about 14 hours to fully charge, charge this unit but that then means that you can leave it during the day and all through the night and in the morning you can then connect it to your your iPhone or any other device that you want to fully charge. However, one of the things about wind turbines is that they really complement solar and solar really complements wind turbines. So what we've done is we've taken our infinite solar five solar panel and we've created a system through this specialist Y cable to connect the solar and wind turbine together. So all you have to do is disconnect the the power bank, take the Y cable, connect that to the main unit, then connect it to the solar panel, and then place the solar panel in the direct light of the, the sun, and then connect the two together. Now what that combined power means is that it can reduce the charging time to about 10 hours all depending on the power of the sun. Now today the sun isn't that bright but there will be some positive effect by having the wind and the solar together. And the great thing is when it comes to night time you can just take the solar panel off, put that away, but the wind turbine will continue to charge your power bank through the night. So the next stage is actually working out a safe way of disassembling the unit. So the first thing to do is disconnect the power bank then the solar panel and we put that away. Now these turbine blades as I mentioned before can spin up to anything about 2000 rpm so we want to actually reduce that and slow that down. Simply take the tail fin, turn it through 180 degrees and you'll notice that it stops down, put your finger on the top and that will stop the blade. Unscrew the knurled edge and unscrew the blades in an anti-clockwise direction and that removes the cap. You then take the three blades and you simply just sort of rock those out of the cap and we can put those down. Next thing to do is to remove the ground pegs, the three ground pegs out of the ground, remove the tail fin and then take the whole unit out of the ground. Now to be able to disassemble the tripod simply undo the cleated cable, remove that and then all the, the units will come apart very simply and easily. Remove the tripod base plate and there you have it. It's a very simple way to assemble the unit disassemble the unit. It takes about three minutes to assemble and the same to disassemble. Very very sturdy structure. You'll notice that it's all made out of aluminium so it's uh, very durable and very strong working up to a force 8 gale. So that's the introduction to the new Infinite Air Tex Energy turbine. Thank you very much for watching.